Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Joanne here. Today we are doing a little sock glam and I'm not really a sock glam type of person. I usually like go really glam or just a basic wing liner or no eyeshadow and go hun. You know, I'm never really the glitter or the shiny eyelid type of person but i'm going to be trying that today and it's going to be a little tutorial on it i'm not going to go in too much into detail because i feel like we kind of all know makeup at this point um it's going to be obviously a little different towards to what i normally do because it's soft glam but i'm just going to show all the things that i feel like are necessary to achieve this look or help me to achieve this little different look you know um, but pretty much, I hope this is going to be a short video, but I hope it's going to be, you know, a video, obviously. And yeah, if you're interested, keep on watching. If you like the video, press the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, leave a comment what you'd like to see, if you like the video, if you like the content, and yeah. Just to make sure that our makeup stays on longer, I'm going to be using an eyeshadow primer for places where I crease like a lot lot, so to be here. As I was saying, I'm going to take some highlighter and just any brush and apply it underneath my base. However, I'm going to spray it with some setting spray first, just so it's a little you know, wet and so that it sticks. This is just so we have the glow from beneath effect without actually using highlighter on top because the soft glam really is kind of like an all matte look. And yeah, but if you still want the glow, if you still want to look radiant and don't want to look at, like you have dull skin, which can happen when you have like dry skin or normal combination skin you can use this technique but this is obviously preference and i want to shine from underneath so i'm gonna use it we're gonna let this sit for quite a while uh for now i think we can go right ahead into contouring and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick. And I'm gonna take what's left over on the brush, pinch the brush and just Start with my nose contour. It's not too much, but it's there, and it already, like, you know, outlines where we want to go with our nose contour. And if this looks overwhelming, I mean, the contour, don't worry, we're still too going to add foundation on top, so it's going to look like way, way better. And this is the point where I add foundation and I'm going to add some fix plus before I go in. And look how that looks blended. But the contour is still there. But it's not as scary as it was earlier on. I'm just going to blend this out with the brush I used to apply my primer. I really like this already. It's giving very dewy, um, which is pretty. I'm going to apply my Flesh Tone Concealer now. So 
So now that I've applied this shade, I'm going to apply a lighter concealer on top of this once I have blended this out. This I'm going to leave just for a little while to help with color correcting and also help with the longevity of our makeup around the specific area. So this process of putting um, eyeshadow base under your makeup, you can do it in areas where you crease a lot. So if you crease a lot in your forehead area, you can apply it there or under your eyes. I crease under my eyes just a little though, but I feel like it's such a sensitive area. So rather not, unless maybe you put an eye cream before, but I just would rather not for me, but preference. And yeah, so like these areas also, and then um, I do have a little mustache going. So I just color correct it with a skin tone. Um, concealer and which I'm putting on top of the eyeshadow base which should help with the longevity I'm gonna let it stay on for longer and if you watch my channel you know that I leave concealer on for a little longer than normal so that it can dry up and essentially give me more coverage and also move less once I have set it and all that so yeah I'm gonna get into blending this so I'm just gonna blend out this concealer now with the brush though but I'm going to be very gentle just so I don't lose coverage. I like that blend. And now that like we're waiting for this concealer to dry up a little more, I'm going to blend this one out. I don't know if you can see but this area just looks so flawless like it looks amazing because of that base that we put in there and also the color correcting I just did but it looks really flawless and we trust that it's going to last for a pretty long time if you look very closely I'm gonna try to zoom in on this part but if you look very closely I am flawless looking flawless flawless well, that light is so much better actually. Oh, well, let me just. Mm, that's better. I'm happy with this, so I'm going to set it immediately with my trusty Laura Mercier. You know, the drill. Put some on, tap some on the back of your hand. Look up. Okay, blend first. And sit. Literally, that whole thing was enough to set the one side of my eye. And then set the rest of the face. Here I tend to use a little more because the areas where I'm going to crease the most. My contour things have finished so i'm just gonna use my superhero oh slay for days superhero oh that's the spray i'm gonna use my slay for days um palette so it's gonna contour my nose with alia so for my Face contour, I'm gonna mix Aaliyah, Chelsea, and Tandy, which is a dark brown. 
just so I can have balance and I'm gonna dust like all the excess off just so that it's not too bad and it creates such a beautiful blend actually you're gonna see now like once you know it's obviously showing properly because I'm dusting off quite a lot so it's not overwhelming because it is a very very like different mix of colors and I am totally in love with this face uh, and I'm also gonna take the brush and just go back to my nose contour it's time for brows and eyeshadow I'm quickly gonna do my brows and then I'm going to head right into the eyeshadow. I'm going to apply um, concealer on this one side. I'm going to start with this side that's bothering me the most. And I'm starting off with Chelsea and Sophia, which are just neutral shades. With the bigger blending brush, I'm gonna blend Chelsea. I'm actually just gonna add that to that door. I'm gonna put some concealer on the crease just a little though That looks so pretty and I'm going to mix it with this goldish shade. And even put it on my outer corner. Outer corner chair, my inner corner. <laughs> And I'm going to take my blending brushes and just go back as usual. Darken up anything that needs to be darkened up. But I don't need that with these shades because they're all very pigmented. And I'm going to add some translucent powder and I'll be back when I am done. Oh, just to give you information, I used this shade from the modern dolls palette the spectrum palette as you can see like it's fallen out but it's a very beautiful like glittery shade honestly that's what it looks like so i'm gonna quickly do this eye and we'll be back chill this actually looks very cute i'm not the the glitter eye type person but i like it i like it what don't i look good in what don't i look good in so we're almost done with the look uh before i put on mascara though which i wanted to finish the eye look before i came back but anyway i put on some eyeliner in the bottom some kiss professional eyeliner it's in burgundy which is very beautiful it's not black it's also not like brown but it's it's giving something man it's giving something which i really really like i'm gonna put on blush put on some setting spray and then i'm gonna do these things anyway i'm gonna be using two blushes the blush and max raisin are uh, the blushes from essence you know my draw this one is a little too dark for me but i also really like it but since it's a soft glam i'm not trying to do too much so i'm just gonna mix both i really like that this is very pretty I'm gonna use a mixture of these two setting sprays, the MAC Fix Plus, Prep and Prime Fix Plus, just the normal one, and the Maybelline uh, 
lasting fix setting spray i'm gonna start with this mattifier one and i'm gonna end with this fix press one just covering my eyes so that nothing creases a magic crease we have come to the end of this video here is the final look and i am absolutely in in love so it's giving very soft it's giving very glamorous i like it it's it's very wearable honestly and obviously in this house we do wearable makeup but i really really like it it's soft but it's still extremely 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 gorgeous and I hope you like it. The slip combination that I used is just the Power Girl Air Matte Lipstick from Switch Beauty, the NYX Cosmetics Abu Dhabi um, Soft Matte Lip Cream, and then some Juicy Bomb Lip Gloss from Essence. Uh, yeah, kind of irrational. Curl my hair into this little updo. Never done anything like this, especially because my hair is quite short. And it needs like a trim but excuse me oh it's cute i like it we can take her out we can take her out i really really like this look and if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because look at what we have to give look at what we have to give i think this would be like way nicer though if i had very small lashes but that's not my vibe it's not my vibe. If I can't see my lashes, then what's the point? What is the point, sweetie? So next time.